Psalm 119, verse 66. Tuv ta'am vada'at lamdeni ki vemitzvotecha he'emanti. So we're still in the section beginning with a tet, and this is an interesting little uh, word here. It is tuv, so goodness or good things. You can see where that's related. But the next word, ta'am, also begins with a tet. And so some manuscripts have this deleted or suggest this should be deleted. I think BHS does that. But I don't see any reason to do that. So we have the goodness of discernment or judgment here. This is actually taste, uh, good taste. You might think of somebody has good taste if they uh, wear nice clothes or whatever it may be. They have good judgment on those clothes. So figuratively, we're looking at discernment and knowledge, da'at. So good discernment and knowledge teach me. Here's our PL imperative to MS. We've seen this again with the one CS suffix. So teach me for, and I, I take this as a ground clause, for in, there's our bait preposition, we get mitzvot, commandments. Notice that the oat here is written defectively. I kind of circled the wrong thing. The oat here is written defectively. The vav there is the consonant. So this is mitzvotecha, mitzvotecha, in your commandments, and again, notice 2ms suffix here, that is the plural with that yod. So, in your commandments, for in your commandments, I trust or I believe. Here we have a hifil perfect. Notice the hifil at the front. Notice we get the segol right here, and the reason for that is because of the uh, one guttural. The one guttural aleph will get the hadif segol, and when that happens, the performative vowel will follow suit, just like it does here. So this is a hifil perfect. It's one CS. Notice the T ending. And let me just comment here about this ground clause for a second. Good discernment and knowledge teach me. Why would the psalmist be asking to be taught, and the ground clause given here is, because in your commandments I trust. I believe what you say, so teach me more of it.